Kumusta na kayo mga grade 4 learners? Tayo ngayon ay nasa week 5. Determining the missing term in a sequence of numbers and finding the missing term in an equation. Samahan niyo ako muli. After going through this module, you are expected to determine the missing term or terms in a sequence of numbers. Examples, add numbers, even numbers, multiples of a number, factors of a number, etc. Finds the missing number in an equation involving properties of operations. Take a look around you. What do you see? You see patterns in things or objects, right? The activities that you do every day also follow a pattern. The way you arrange your toys or things in cabinet follows a pattern. Patterns take many forms. Numbers are also used to form patterns. When you skip count, you are creating a pattern. Add in even numbers are used in number sequence. With this, you will be provided with lessons and activities on number patterns. It includes determining missing terms in a sequence of even or odd numbers, multiples or factors of a number, etc. The lesson on number patterns is extended to finding the missing number in a number sentence which is a pre-algebra concept. Number sequence, list of numbers arranged in a row. Term, a number in the sequence. Ascending order, arranging numbers from least to greatest. While descending order, arranging numbers from greatest to least. Equation, a mathematical sentence that states the equality of expressions. Distributive property of multiplication over addition When a factor is multiplied by the sum of two terms, it is essential to multiply each of the two numbers by the factors and finally perform the addition operation. While commutative property, the order in which we multiply numbers does not change the product. Associative property, the way in which factors are grouped in a multiplication problem does not change the product. Identity property, the sum of any number and zero is the original number. The product of any number and one gives the given number Zero is called the identity element in addition and one is the identity element of multiplication. Look at the sequence of numbers. What are the missing terms? Example 1. 7, 10, blank, 16, blank. In the number sequence, each term is formed by adding 3 to the preceding number. So, the missing terms are 10 plus 3 equals 13 and 16 plus 3 equals 19. 
See to it that the pattern is true to the whole sequence from 7 to 19. Example 2. 45, 37, 29, blank, blank, 5. Find the missing term. The sequence of numbers is in descending order. Get the difference between 45 and 37. The difference is 8. And the same with 37 and 29 and so on. The missing terms are 21 and 13. Since 13 is 8 more than the last term which is 5. Example 3. What are the missing terms in 6, 8, 12, blank, 26, blank? Look closely at the difference of 6 and 8. 8 minus 6 equals 2. 8 and 12, 12 minus 8 equals 4. The difference is a multiple of 2. The missing terms may be 18 and 36. Adding 6 to 12 becomes 18. And adding 8 to 18 becomes 26. And add 10 to 26 becomes 36. Hence, 18 and 36 are the missing terms. Example of distributive property of multiplication over addition. Kung titignan nyo ang ating equation, may dalawang missing terms. The missing terms are 10 and 2. Let's simplify. Since the sums are equal, multiplying a term to both factors does not change the equation. In using the distributive property of multiplication over addition, you have to follow the following steps. Number 1. Expand the equation. 2. Multiply, distribute the first numbers of each set, outer numbers of each set, and the last numbers of each set. 3. Combine like terms. 4. Solve the equation and simplify if needed. Example of commutative property of addition. Ano kaya ang missing term? The missing term is 9. The missing term is 9 since changing the order of the addends does not change the equation. Example of associative property of addition. Tingnan natin ang equation. Ano kaya ang nawawalang term? 6. Napansin nyo ba sa mga addends? Nagkabalibaliktad lang? The missing term is 6 since grouping of addends does not change the equation. Example of identity property. The missing term is 1. Since the identity element of multiplication is 1, thus it gives the same number. The missing term is 0. Since the identity element of addition is 0, thus it gives the same number. For learning task 1, find the missing term in each of the following number sequence. Number 1, 23, 25, 27, blank, blank, 33. Ang ating pattern, plus 2. So that is 29, plus 2 again, 31. For number 2, 32, 37, blank, blank, 52, 57. Ang pattern, 
plus 5. Then try to answer number 3, 4, and number 5. For learning task 2, give the missing number in the equation below. Number 1, the missing term is 5. For number 2, inyong mapapansin, ang mga factors ay nagkabalibaliktad lang. So, the missing terms are 2 and 9. Then, try to answer number 3, number 4, and number 5. Learning task 3. Find the missing terms in the following number sequence. Number 1, 5, 6, 8, blank, and 15. Ang pattern, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3. So, the missing term is 11. Then, plus 4. For number 2, 18, 20, 24, blank, 36. Ang ating pattern ay plus 2, plus 4, plus 6. So, ang missing term is 30, then plus 8. Then, try to answer number 3, 4, and number 5. Find the missing terms in the following equation. Number 6. The missing term is 6. Number 7. The missing term is 14. Then try to answer number 8, number 9, and number 10. Learning task 4. Find the missing terms. Number 1, ang pattern plus 10, plus 12, plus 14, plus 16, plus 18, kaya ang missing term ay 82, then plus 20. For number 2, 5, 7, 11, 17, 25, ang ating pattern plus 2, plus 4, plus 6, plus 8, plus 10. Ang ating missing term ay 35. Then try to answer number 3, 4, and 5. Learning task 5. Use the properties of operation to make the following equations true by filling the missing terms Check the equation to find out if your answer is correct. Number 1, this is distributive property of multiplication over addition. The missing terms are 2, 4, and 8. Let's check. So, the equation is correct. Number 2 is an example of commutative property of addition. The missing terms are 10 and 12. Let's check if the equation is correct. So, the equation is correct. Then, answer number 3, 4, and number 5. Now, you know how to determine the missing term or terms in a sequence of numbers and finding the missing number in an equation. Remember the following. To find the missing term or terms in a number sequence, you must first look to its pattern. 
A number sequence is a list of numbers arranged following a pattern. Each number in the sequence is called term. To find the missing number in an equation, determine the property used in the number sentence such as commutative property, associative property, distributive property, and identity property. For your learning task 6, find the missing terms. Number 1, 2, 2, 4, 12, blank, blank. Ang pattern, times 1, times 2, times 3, times 4, so 48, and times 5, 240. For number 2, ang pattern, times 2 or double the number times 2 times 2 times 2 that is 16 then times 2 that is 32 then try to answer number 3 4 5 for learning task 7 fill in the missing number to make its equation correct Number 1, 1. You need to check. The equation is correct. Number 2, the missing terms are 3 and 4. And that is distributive property of multiplication over addition. You will check. The equation is correct. And try to answer number 3, 4, and 5. Maraming salamat muli sa pagsaba nyo sa akin sa ating video. Kung nagustuhan nyo ang ating video, please like and subscribe at pindutin na rin ang notification bell para updated kayo sa mga bago pang darating na videos. Pwede kayo mag-comment at syempre, please share this to your classmates. Hanggang sa muli, paalam!